This demonstration is intended as a resource for previous students and licensed clinicians who can perform dry needling in their practice acting jurisdiction. Please do not attempt dry needling without proper licensure and training. For the plantar fasciitis treatment protocol, some precautions to consider are the medial and lateral plantar nerve artery and vein and the tibial nerve artery and vein. For this particular treatment setup, you'll include dry needling to five different muscles. The first muscle is a flexor digitor brevis, which is superficial to the quadratus plantae, so you'll pass through the flexor digitor brevis on your way into the quadratus plantae. For the quadratus plantae, you'll use a 30 millimeter needle and just one of those. The next muscle is the abductor digitum minimi. You can use anywhere from a 15 to a 30 millimeter needle. The next muscle is the abductor hallucis. You'll do two needles in the abductor hallucis, and you'll do a 15 millimeter needle for those. And lastly, you'll stick two needles in the gastrocnemius, anywhere from a 40 to a 60 millimeter needle. This treatment protocol is simply an example of how you can combine needles with electrical stimulation to address a regional condition. You could always do more needles than what's listed in this protocol, or you could do less needles than what's listed in this protocol. First thing we'll do is we'll mark the bottom of her fat pad, which is basically at her calcaneal tubercles. And then we'll mark one finger width below her fat pad, and this will give us a safe spot to identify an area to perform dry needling. So the first mark you see is a quadratus plantae. Obviously we pass through flexor digitorum brevis on our way into quadratus plantae. The second dot you see is for abductor digiting minimi. That'll be at the lateral calcaneal tubercle. Now we'll draw our abductor hallucis, which is basically on the inside of the arch of her foot. We have to be superficial here, however, because we have our medial plantar nerve artery and vein deep to that. As you can see, we'll maintain a clean technique. We'll always use alcohol wipe down, always wear gloves. I would have scrubbed the foot with alcohol, but uh, I didn't want to wipe off all the writing for the purpose of this video. Now, it really is important to do hard distracting pressure at those calcaneal tubercles. That'll really help with the insertion. You want to mash your guide tube into the skin very, very well also. Give it a good hard tap and then send it all the way into her calcaneus. You don't want to go too slow here because it will be a little uncomfortable. So you want to have a good, decent pace. For abductor digitum minimum, it's the same kind of technique. With a 15 millimeter or a 30 millimeter, you'll send it up towards her lateral calcaneal tubercle. Now for the abductor hallucis, we're only going to use a 15 millimeter needle because we don't want to go too deep. And the muscle is superficial. And remember, directly underneath the muscle is a medial plantar nerve artery and vein. So a 15 millimeter superficial technique here. This muscle will be the first thing under the skin in this region. For the gastroc, we're still going to clean the area. And remember, we have the tibial nerve artery and vein in the midline, so I'm going to put my thumb in the middle to grasp the tissue of the medial gastroc head and tap my needle in away from the midline, anywhere from a 40 to a 60 millimeter needle. And then for the lateral head of the gastroc, I'm again going to place my thumb in midline to tap the needle in and send it away from the midline into the tissue in between my fingers. The quadratus plantae needles and the abductor digiti minimi needles are kind of in a position where you usually don't have to tape the electrode down. However, the uh, abductor hallucis needle at its angle and because it's such a superficial needle being only 15 millimeters, oftentimes you need to put a little piece of tape. I like to use half inch micropore tape. Anything more than half inch is a little bit too much. It kind of gets in the way. And what we do is we tape the electrode close to the base of the needle. You don't want to tape it too far away from the needle because that'll basically just act as a fulcrum and it'll pull the electrode and it'll make the needle fall out. So just tape the needles close and that'll help keep those from falling out. In your last electrical stimulation channel, we'll go on the medial and the lateral heads of the gastroc. For this treatment setup, we typically run the electrical stimulation 10 to 15 minutes at a continuous wave frequency with intensity set to the patient's tolerance. And you can see the abductor hallucis abducting the great toe with electrical stimulation.